with bean balls and high sticks. But the head doesn't always receive cheap shots. Sometimes it delivers them. We found the maximum impact the skull can take is 1,800 pounds of force. Our question, can a human head dish out as much as it can take? Can a cheap shot headbutt deliver an 1,800 pound wallop? To find out, we line up our state-of-the-art sitting duck, Crash. It's as hard as a rock. And to hit that rock hard dummy, we recruit professional stuntman, Diego Sebastian. In soccer, what's the worst case scenario? What's the worst thing that could happen on the field? Bodies flying, going for a header, heads colliding. So knocking heads. Definitely. We outfit Diego with a sparring helmet with just enough padding to protect our sensors. Oh, and his head. How's that feel? It doesn't feel good. I don't know who's a dummy, him or me, for doing this. It's giving us data and also protecting yourself from yourself. <laughs> it's man versus machine, as we test to see precisely how much force a human head can deliver. Classic case of getting your bell rung. Come on up. We had Diego headbutt our crash test dummy, which is a steel dummy with a thin rubber padding on it. And the impact that we had, it was 21 G's, and Diego felt it. He was hurting after those hits. We wouldn't want to see him hit his head any harder than he did. Let's take a closer look at the components of Diego's headbutt. He leaps, coils his neck muscles, tomahawks his 10-pound head downward, and strikes a concentrated area on the dummy's face. You wouldn't want to be a victim of this. But Diego's headgear measures just 270 pounds of force. That's a far cry from the 1,800 pounds of force a skull can withstand. Diego felt the effects. He said he was hitting it as hard as he could, but I wouldn't be surprised if he was holding back at least a little bit. Our challenge, to find someone who won't hold back in a test to determine how hard the head can hit. And we found him the greatest headbutter on earth, world champion martial artist, Craig Pumphrey. The headshot is very complicated. All you have is this. That's it. There is nothing else. So you've got to be accurate the very first time. Instead of butting another head, Pumphrey will headbutt a stack of eight slabs of concrete. Breaking this entire stack will require 1,800 pounds of force. Will Craig be able to hit the stack that hard? There's no margin for error. If I hit the stack and for some reason the entire stack doesn't break, then all that force goes down, bounces off whatever slab don't break, and it comes right back up into my skull. So I actually receive twice the amount that I gave, which in result would be more damaging to me. So Craig, we want to see what your head sees when you hit through the stack, okay? okay. So I have a very simple headband system here that I'm going to put on you. I really don't like the headband. Uh, the reason is, is I'm trying to locate the center of the stack. So when I put my head down, I'm actually feeling where the center of the stack is with my head. This thing's on here. I can't tell if I'm in the center of that stack or not, and I won't know until I hit. It's time for Craig to do it. To prove the head 
can dish out punishment as well as it can take it. drives through the bricks. Sensors on his head and load cells under the stem record that the slabs break under 1,800 pounds of force, enough to crush a skull. The impact is equivalent to a buddy dropping a keg of beer on your head from a third story window. And when I can feel my skull literally and everything and I feel my legs and everything bend and go all the way through, my body and everything tells me, you're right on. Rest is history. Our experiment taught us two things. First, the head can deliver a cheap shot as well as it can take one. And second, we're not going up for a header against Craig Pumphrey anytime soon. Coming up, science goes south. Much more when sports science returns. Oh!